Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here. As you might be able to tell, this is a completely different uh, place and that's because I've moved houses. I'll have my old flat toe uh, of the flat that I just left out on Sunday, I think. But anyway, Transfer Rumours episode nine, well, slash roundup as well. We've actually got two confirmed deals uh, as of today. Obviously, I didn't do one yesterday because I did my England match review against Wales. But anyway, what we have is um, we have Bournemouth who've signed a player I don't know too much about. Is it Hindman? And uh, he's a free transfer. He's young. Apparently, he's got international experience. And uh, yeah, it's free. And the chairman said they they wanted to be quick with this player and they wanted to be the first to you know try and get him. And they've got him. First signing of the season for them. Again, don't know too much about him, but we didn't know too much about Mares Kante. Of course, I'm not saying he's going to become that, but unknown players can produce, and sometimes they don't. So this one will be a nice one to see what happens next season. And uh, another confirmed transfer is uh, Nicholas Gaitan. You know, that Manchester United winger that uh, the paper said we signed for about six years, and yet he hasn't played for Man United. He hasn't made his debut yet. How? And that's because he's still at Benfica. And, well, he isn't anymore. He's at Atletico Madrid. They've actually paid, I think it's somewhere in the region of £25 million for uh, Nicolas Gaetan, who's been superb for Benfica for a number of years, hence why he was linked to Manchester United. The same as Wesley Schneider for six, seven, eight years. Every single transfer window, it was just irritating. The next one's Bale. Like, literally, he gets linked every single time. But, yeah, Gaetan, a very solid buy for Atletico Madrid. It's a signing that you, you know, expect them to sign. They always sign good players or young players and they, they, they're just a force. I mean, they've been in two Champions League finals two years out of the last three and that just doesn't happen if you're not, you know, good at making class signings and that's that's basically what they do. They make quality signings all the time and this is no different in my opinion. Next player we've got linked is Kovacic and he's linked to Liverpool. He hasn't had much game time at um, Real Madrid. I think he moved, did he move from Syria uh, the year before? And yeah, he's just literally been a bit poor player, which is kind of what a lot of people thought he'd be. So he's stunted his uh, potential as of yet. But a move to Liverpool, I think the reported fee that they want is something like 24, 25 million. And uh, whether Liverpool would pay that remains to be seen. But this would be an exciting player to see in the Premier League. I'm a Man United fan, obviously. I don't really want Liverpool to be too successful but it is nice when you see players with potential coming to the Premier League and then uh, you get to see what they can do this would be the one that would really intrigue me because he's got talent and uh, we saw that I th I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it was Inter I could be wrong but I'm sure it was Syria but anyway uh, obviously it's been stunted at Real Madrid so this one would be a one that would really interest me if it happened and Probably 50-50 at the minute, whether it will. Uh, next player we've got linked is Julian Draxler to Manchester United. Now, Build have reported this and they're not very reliable. Um, I mean, we're linked to Mkhitaryan, but his agent has came out and said that uh, he wants to move to Manchester United, but Dortmund are willing to let him go at the end of his contract for free. But that remains to be seen. That will go on for a while. If we get Mkhitaryan... Can't see us going after Draxler, really, because that's a winger, right winger, who can play in numerous positions, a bit like Draxler. I mean, if we don't get Mkhitaryan, then this is probably our fullback option, or maybe it is. It could just be another rumour, but solid enough player. He's playing a lot for Germany as well, so he's got international experience, and uh, pretty sure he moved to Wolfsburg from Schalke, or maybe the other way around, but no, I think it was, it was Schalke. To Wolfsburg but anyway yeah um, it would be intriguing to see how he would do but I think this is just one of these rumors that just won't happen in my opinion next player we've got that's looking very likely is uh, Mendy going to Leicester supposedly to replace N'Golo Kante because uh, of his release clause he'll probably end up going and uh, that makes a lot of sense now they're getting this player again I don't know too much about him but he's a CDM and of course Kante was amazing so he's being compared to him and uh, yeah, for 13 million, it's not quite as cheap as what they got Kante. But if it works out anywhere near what Kante was, then yeah, that's going to be a solid signing. But again, we'll have to wait and see. I think he's 23. And um, it, it's just nice seeing, you know, new players, I suppose, even if they're for other clubs that you don't really associate with too much, saying that Leicester won the league this season. So yeah, we kind of did, but you, you know what I mean. Anyway, next player we've got is something that's not going to happen, but uh, it's it's been reported by Sky Sports, uh, one of their journalists on Twitter. Um, 
Neymar has released clothes of 157 million and apparently three clubs are willing to pay that. My guess is the three clubs are PSG, Real Madrid and Manchester United. Now, I'd, the only way Neymar would go is if Barca were stuck in their financial trouble, but they're set to sign a record-breaking deal with Nike, I think. So I highly doubt they're going to need to shift Neymar off. I mean, he's only on 70k a week. I say only, but like for a star like that, you expect him to be on 400, 500k, well, 300 at least. But um, yeah, 70k. John Joe Shelby's on more than that in the championship. So that's the problem they have. Um, Neymar's probably going to want, well, he will be tempted if PSG, Man United go in, release the clothes, there's nothing uh, Barca can do. They can just hope Neymar wants to stay with his hero Messi. But uh, if they're offering 300k a week, you never know, money could sway him. But um, still, I think this is one that just won't happen. Barca will get the financial, the their wages sorted, their wage cap. Problem is they can't increase Neymar's wage to make it more than what Messi's is. I'm not sure what Messi's is, but he has got to close in his contract saying he's got to be the highest paid. So the problem is if they increase Neymar's, they're going to have to increase Messi's and they can't afford to do that as of yet. So that's why there's slight possibilities that they might have to sell one of the big three, Neymar with his ridiculous release clothes. But again, I just can't see it happening, like especially like now. And if it was, it would probably be PSG who would get him. Like Man United on in the Champions League, I don't think he'd come to us as of yet. So I just think it's like rumours, really. Anyway, next player we've got is Juan Jesus linked to Chelsea. They're linked to a lot of Syria defenders. They're linked to Manlas. They're linked to Rudiger. They're linked to Bonucci. I've said my opinion on all three of them. Juan Jesus, it's probably just another link, like if they don't get someone else, if they don't get one of their centre backs, then they'll go for this player. And it's probably journalists guessing. Don't know too much about him. I don't watch much of the Serie A, but I, I think he's had a solid season um, for Inter Milan. And uh, yeah, it would just probably suit Conte. He knows Serie A very well, he knows which players will fit whatever system he wants in the Premier League. It's whether he can do that in the Premier League that remains to be seen. But yeah, that's why he's being linked. And again, I think he might join if some of the other centre-backs don't because Chelsea will eventually get a centre-back. Next player, I've got one that I don't think will happen and that's Serge Aurier linked to Sunderland of all uh, people. No disrespect to Sunderland, but a PSG player that's well, was playing until he like slated uh, Laurent Blanc, Zlatan Ibrahimovic and someone else in uh, that, what was it? Was it, um, oh, I forgot the video source that he did, but anyway, it, it was a, was it Periscope that he used when he did that video? And then, yeah, he just seems to be in trouble a lot. I think he got done for speeding. He got done for drunk, being drunk and disorderly. Like, he just seems like a bit of a bell end. And uh, yeah, maybe PSG would want to shift him off, so maybe it's um, a possibility. But Aurier is very, Aurier, very young, 23, I think, and uh, he, he's amazing. He's a brilliant player when I've seen him for PSG, but again, he's got the off-the-pitch problems. If he could put them down in line, then it would be a fantastic signing for Sunderland. Of course it would, but um, it, it's just whether he can sort out his off-the-pitch problems and actually hit his potential instead of ruining his career and whether he would go to Sunderland whether other clubs would be interested remains to be seen but it's early on rumors so obviously that's all this video is but uh yeah that's it for this episode uh I'll probably bring one tomorrow if not it'll be a euro video or some video of some description but anyway hopefully you have enjoyed let me know what you think in the comments hope I've said that I say that all the time but anyway subscribe if you haven't already like the video and yeah peace